We are recruiting for three of our uh, apprenticeship programs. We're recruiting 500 individuals for the possibility of getting into the carpenters, 150 for the dock builders, and 100 for the floor coverers. As the industry, the unionized construction industry, requires more workers, we will be pulling names out of the lottery box, and the lucky winners will get a chance to apply for the apprenticeship program, which is a four-year training free to them that the industry, by all of our work, pays for. So it's not as if the individuals coming into the apprenticeship program need to take out school loans. The industry is funded by the industry, and it's one of the unique aspects of the cons unionized construction industry in New York City. I got here yesterday, like about approximately four to five o'clock. Wow! And um, you know, there's been people here that've been here since Thursday, so they're the, the ones all the way in the front of the line. I got a good spot. I'm in the 200s, 300s. So I'm, I'm officially getting a lottery ticket, if anything. So um, it was, it was, it was tough. It was tough, you know. Everybody, everybody was cool though. Everybody was calm, civilized. You know, I'm going to help one another. You need a chair, you need a bed, here you go. Everybody was uh, buying drinks for everybody and everything. So it, it went pretty smooth. I've been out here since Thursday morning. My husband's been out here since Wednesday night. And the female in front of me has been out here since Wednesday morning. I got here to hold down the spot because we couldn't find a sitter for the baby. I've been doing labor my whole life, but nothing this serious. But I'm willing to learn and bust my butt for the opportunity. There are these many people who want to better their lives, who want to better their opportunity, who want a shot to get into the middle class. The non-union construction industry has pushed so hard down on wages, forget benefits, there are none, that many of the people that I've spoken to today have some carpentry experience, have worked maybe in the non-union sector, but they can't live. They can't survive on the paltry wages and benefits being offered by the non-union sector, so the opportunity to become a highly trained and skilled union carpenter is is uh, one that you're not going to pass up. So uh, it's all over. I feel like waste of throw off my shoulders right now. So, yeah. I feel like we're going to actually get in on this. I want to have the benefits for my daughter, and uh, right now this is probably one of the best places you can go to get benefits like that. You know, but, and uh, just later down the line, further, hopefully get a house. That's it. That's it.